What if I told you your hardware could be handling inputs way faster with reduced latency and you're just one tweak away from unlocking it? In today's guide, we're diving into one of the most overlooked performance upgrades you can do on your PC, configuring your interrupt settings correctly. This isn't fluff. This is how your CPU talks to your devices. If you're gaming competitively or just want buttery smooth responsiveness, this will help. No overhype, just actionable latency gains. Let's get into it. Understanding interrupts, line-based versus MSI mode. When your PC receives input from devices like your mouse, keyboard, GPU, or sound card, the CPU handles those inputs through what's called an interrupt request. There are two main ways Windows can process these. Line-based interrupts, or legacy IRQ, this is the older method. Devices share a line, IRQ channel, and whenever a signal is sent, the CPU has to poll each device on that line to figure out who made the request. Imagine being in a room where five people yell at once and you have to check each one to see who needed help. Message signaled interrupts, or MSI mode, assigns each device its own private IRQ through a memory-based message. No polling, just a direct message to the CPU. Think of this as receiving a private text instead of overhearing a crowded conversation. This matters because MSI mode reduces latency, eliminates IRQ conflicts, and gives the CPU more efficient access to device inputs. Let's walk through how to enable this properly. Enabling MSI mode using MSI Utility V3. Modern systems support message signaled interrupts, MSI, a more efficient and lower latency way for devices to communicate with the CPU, especially beneficial in gaming, high I.O. workloads, or DPC-sensitive environments like audio production or real-time applications. Here's how to safely enable it. Step by step, how to use MSI Utility V3. Download MSI Utility V3, the latest version. Only get it from trusted sources, such as a known developer forum. I will link the file below. Extract the zip file. Place it in a convenient, safe folder, desktop or tools folder. Avoid extracting inside the downloads folder to prevent permission issues later. Run as administrator. Right-click msiutilv3.exe, select Run as Administrator. This is mandatory. Without admin rights, the tool can't modify interrupt behavior. Interface Overview. Once launched, you'll see a full list of active hardware components including device name, MSI supported, yes or no, interrupt mode, line-based, or MSI, IRQ numbers, Positive is Legacy, Negative is MSI, Interrupt Priority, which can be left undefined. Identifying which devices can use MSI mode. MSI Supported. Only devices marked as MSI Supported are eligible. These typically include GPUs, NVIDIA, AMD, NVMe Solid State Drive Controllers, Sound Cords, USB Controllers, vary by chipset, Ethernet controllers, Intel, Aquatania, Realtek. How to enable MSI mode. Check the box under the MSI column for each supported device you want to switch. Leave the interrupt priority as undefined for most devices. This avoids conflicts or unintended behavior unless the device specifically benefits from higher interrupt prioritization, e.g. GPU or NVMe solid state drive in competitive setups. Click Apply at the top. Restart your PC for changes to take effect. Tweak 1. Disable wake timers to prevent interrupt spikes. Wake timers allow scheduled tasks to wake your system from sleep or trigger background polling, often without your knowledge. On high-performance machines or gaming setups, these can cause unexpected CPU activity, micro-latency spikes, or even wake your PC unnecessarily during idle time. Disabling them ensures that background services don't interfere with performance-critical sessions like gaming, streaming, or low-latency workloads. Step-by-step -step instructions. Part 1. Registry-Based Wake Prevention. 
Open Registry Editor. Press Win plus R, type RegEdit, and hit Enter. Click Yes if prompted by UAC. Navigate to Create or edit the following D-word value. Right-click in the right panel, New, D-word 32-bit value. Name, Power Request Override Enabled. Value, zero. What this does. This disables app and service level wake override requests. Apps like OneDrive, Cortana, or Windows Update will no longer be able to schedule hidden wake timers when the system is idle. Part 2. Disable all wake timers in power settings. Open Control Panel. Go to Control Panel, Hardware and Sound, Power Options. Click on Change Plan Settings next to your current active plan, usually Balanced or High Performance. Then click Change Advanced Power Settings. In the new dialog, expand Sleep, then Allow Wake Timers. Set both On Battery and Plugged In to Disable. Optional, while you're here, you can also set Sleep After to a higher value, or Never if you're using the system for gaming or streaming. Tweak 2. Disable High Precision Event Timer, HPET, optional. Disabling HPET can sometimes lead to improved input latency, smoother frame pacing, more stable timer resolution, especially when combined with MSI mode or timer tool. However, and this is important, not all systems benefit from disabling HPET. On some hardware, it can cause the opposite effect, especially on older chipsets or when relying on specific BIOS configurations. Steps to disable HPET in Windows. Open Command Prompt as Administrator. Press Win plus S, type CMD. Right-click Command Prompt. Select Run as Administrator. Run the following command. If you see this error, that just means HPET was already disabled or the Use Platform Clock flag was never set. No need to worry. Your system is already using its default high-speed timers, like TSC, unless manually overwritten before. Optional. You can verify HPET status afterward using this command. BCD Edit. Look for any entry referencing Use Platform Clock. If none is found, HPET is not forced and Windows will fall back to default high-speed timers like TSC. Tweak 3. Prioritize game network traffic via QoS policy. We can tell Windows to prioritize gaming packets using group policy. Steps. Press Win plus R, type gpedit.msc. Navigate to Computer Configuration, Windows Settings, Policy-Based QoS. Create a new QoS policy. Name it Game Traffic Boost. DSCP value 46, Expedited Forwarding. Apply to Specific Executable CS2.exe or All Outbound TCP UDP Traffic. This can help route your gaming packets with a higher priority on networks and routers that respect DSCP markings. Works great in LAN or optimized routers. Tweak 4. Force enable MSI mode on select devices via registry, advanced users. In some cases, devices like certain PCIe sound cards, storage controllers, or network adapters may support MSI, message signaled interrupts, but don't display toggles in tools like MSI Utility V3. If you're experienced with the Windows registry, you can manually force enable MSI mode for these hidden or unsupported devices to reduce interrupt latency and improve system responsiveness. This tweak is powerful but carries risk 
so follow the steps carefully and always back up your registry before proceeding. Steps Manually enabling MSI via Registry Editor Open Device Manager Press Win plus X, select Device Manager Find the hardware device you want to enable MSI for Right-click, Properties, Details tab In the drop-down, select Hardware IDs Note down the string, usually something like PCI slash VEN Extract the device ID. Open the Windows registry. Press Win plus R, type RegEdit, then press Enter. Navigate to... You may need to check multiple folders if you have similar devices. Expand the matching folder and locate the instance. Inside that folder, go to Device Parameters slash Interrupt Management slash message signaled interrupt properties. If the message signaled interrupt properties subkey doesn't exist, create it manually. Right click on interrupt management, new, key, name it exactly as above. Create or edit a D word value. Name, MS supported, type, reg underscore D word, value, one. This enables MSI mode for that specific device. This method is a registry-level override that forces Windows to treat the device as MSI capable, ideal for power users chasing the lowest possible input latency or DPC delay in audio and gaming setups. Tweak 5. Clean up ghost devices. Unassigned interrupts. Windows holds on to ghost device entries, which can clog IRQ tables. Steps Open CMD as admin. Run set devmg underscore show start devmg.msc. In Device Manager, view show hidden devices. Uninstall grayed out devices under network adapters, USB controllers, and sound and game controllers. Frees up IRQ mappings and makes MSI mode more reliable on real hardware. And that's how you properly configure interrupt handling in Windows using MSI mode and a few extra hidden tweaks that enhance responsiveness even further. Whether you're trying to shave off input latency for competitive gaming or just make your system feel more snappy, these changes can help. Let me know in the comments if you noticed a difference or have your own tweaks to share. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you later for more deep performance guides. Until then, keep tweaking, keep winning.